This is Hi O Wu, and this is Five Things You Didn't Know About Your Good Old Pal Jess. Woo! Hey, everybody out there in YouTube Wasteland, it's your good old pal Jess, and this is Hi O Wu. Today is a different type of episode. How come, say you? This is a five, count them five things you didn't know about your good old pal Jess. But how did this come to be, you might ask yourself? Well, Ken, the Idahoan, tagged me. He said that if I didn't do it, the Illuminati would ban me from the internet forever. Forever. And you may ask yourself, where are you right now, Jesse? We are at an undisclosed place somewhere in Montana. Can't tell you where it's at because it's a secret. That's why it's undisclosed. Undisclosed. But I'm gonna show you around as I tell you five things you may not know. things you didn't know videos is to be able to do it and not sound too self-indulgent so hopefully we can have a little bit of fun first let's talk about this place real quick I grew up near this area and when I was a young kid very young kid probably six seventh eighth grade I used to come down here and uh, play Indiana Jones because there's caves, there's tunnels, there's, I mean, lagoon style looking water to swim in. I had somewhat of an imaginative childhood, so this was the perfect place. The three people I'm going to tag are going to be Tom from Outdoor Mishaps. Let's go ahead and do Dave Maggot. He's an interesting cat. And finally, I want to tag Mountain Wanderer good at what he does. He's that whole crew. They're really good at what they do. Uh, one of my inspirations for sure. Boom. Tag your it. What do I do for a living? I actually work for the county and the treasury department. So I'm the dreaded tax man. Well, really not the tax man. I just take your money. I do nothing with the taxes. I just take the money. So let's just clear that right away. My favorite food is tacos. And when I do have a beer, it's Guinness Draft. All right, so it's starting to rain. We're going to move on to another place. I want to show you before the rain starts getting too bad. Well, you probably know this. You probably watched the videos and figured out that I am not the outdoorsman that I think I am. For example, take a look at this clip from my solo adventure to Romano's Lakes over in Idaho. This is me trying to hang a bear bag. Keep close attention to my hands that has the rope in it. Just look at it. And while you're watching that, I'm gonna go try to get set up over here. Oh. oh 
voice will do it. You gotta hold on to the joke. I blame Harrison Ford for ruining my life. I take no responsibility. No, I, I always joke around and I do say that Harrison Ford really ruined my life. Because um, when I was 1977 when Star Wars came out, I wanted to be a, a space pirate. I mean, who didn't want to be Han? Han was cool. He drove the Millennium Falcon and he was a swindler. Come on, what's cooler than that? And then, when Raiders of the Lost Ark came out, I wanted to be an archaeologist. And then found out that archaeology, for the most part, is not about whip cracking and fighting Nazis. Highly disappointed. And finally, the third reason why Harrison Ford uh, has ruined my life is because of a little movie called Blade Runner. Uh, who knew that in 2019 we weren't going to be fighting replicants who became self-aware. Uh, it's 2019, hasn't happened yet. So that's the three ways Harrison Ford ruined my life. I bet you didn't know that about me. All right, shall we move on? down to the cool waterfall. Well, in the famous words of Huel Hauser, that waterfall is amazing, right? I told you it was going to be cool, and I aim to deliver, so enjoy. Pretty cool, huh? another cave right over there. It's just full of caves. It's pretty awesome. My most valuable possession, I'm going to tell you, is the Indiana Jones number one Marvel issue. Now, it's only worth probably $5 at the most, and that's in mid-mate condition. 
the reason why this comic is my prized possession is because it was the first comic book my dad ever got for me and my dad has since passed away and I got into collecting comic books and I don't really do it so much now I'm more into the Magic the Gathering collecting obviously Indiana Jones was a, a major part of my life as a kid growing up and so that's why that is the most prized possession to me well thanks for suffering me uh, and I know this is supposed to be a high Wu challenge. Sometimes it's just hard to get a hold of Joe and do these things. And if Joe wants to do one of these five things he didn't know, we will obviously do that. And if it's something also that you want to see Joe do, leave some comments down below. It was fun getting out and doing this and taking me to an undisclosed location here near Libby and Troy, Montana. Um, it was a blast kind of coming down here and seeing where I used to play at and getting to share that with you guys as well. Uh, so maybe that's something nobody knew about. So maybe you got a six thing. So maybe that's like seven things now. I, I don't know, I wasn't keeping track. Actually I was, because I was counting them off. <sighs> if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and leave some comments below. We'll see you next time.